Cosa? Hello. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to really prepare anything. It was last minute, but I wanted to come down here and uh uh can't see anything either. Stand up for the crossing guards. I think this is really a st I'm not gonna say stupid, but I already did. So a really dumb thing to do to take them out of the police department. They needed to be a part of the police department because they have respect that way. People will do. I mean, if you get these, uh, I don't know what you're gonna get to replace the crossing guards now but they're going to be walked on and uh, no one's going to pay attention to them and I know people love to throw millions of dollars at the golf course or you know some people say that uh, meh yeah you know you gotta just throw you know cut people it's no big deal it happens I do it all the time somebody said here <laughs> but you know what this is a big deal and if you get rid of the crossing guards with the uniforms, this is such a small part. And you're, you're ready to redo the fire police temple again, as I call it, and, uh, and do these one-off badges, you know, for the uh, officers. Well, you know, that's nice, but it's a lot of money. Stop it keep the crossing guards they help the, they help the community people come up to them they they see what's going on in the community they report things that happens if if they're not a part of the police department you're going to lose a lot of uh, a lot of people that uh, I'm not even reading what I wrote down but I'm yeah I'm you're going to lose a lot of support I think you really need to keep these crossing guards. I, and I know you probably know who my mom is. She's here. That's why I'm trying not to get all crazy. And, ah! <laughs> but, you know, some people, it seems like they've been on the board way too long. Maybe they need to go bring somebody in new. I'm not going to say any, any names, but I really like... Uh, Dr. Gordon, he, he actually, at first I, think, I was thinking, what is this guy doing? He just analyzes everything. It's just taking too much time, but he actually cares. He, and, he, and he knows what he's doing. And he's, not just, he's just not throwing things to the side. And he, and he really does care, and I have a lot of respect for you, uh, Dr. Gordon. And, uh, that's about it. I hear it's your new. We'll see what happens with, uh, council member, uh, Gable Luddy, but I know you're, you're getting your, uh, you know, feet wet, and you're trying to see what happens and how this works, and you're doing a good job. And the mayor, you're doing a good job, and... <laughs> I wish I could say something good about Golonsky. I do I like you. I like you, but the the this nah, get rid of the uh crossing guards, but let's throw millions of dollars at a golf course. Stupid. I in my opinion. And Gary Brick, well, I voted for you actually. So what can I say? Oops. I got 50 minutes, 50 seconds left, so maybe I should start reading something I, I said. I think I already said it. Well, the does the police department need BMW motorcycles? BMW, really? The Kawasaki's are great. I don't know why they... And, and I actually went out to one of the police man and asks, well, what kind of motorcycle is that? If you like it, he goes, this BMW, and he takes off. I'm like, nice, really nice. Just, 
See, now I'm starting to get a little... But I, I think I've said all I, I, I have to say. Just try to do a good job. Try to try to think about, you know, other people's lives and the effect that it's going to have on them. Sure, the golf course is great. I use it with my son twice a week. When Before my accident, I'm going to do it again. And uh, just keep doing a good job. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Esther Spinoza, followed by David Proley, followed by Mr. Mike Nolan. 